Hello there, I'm Deb and this is Ted and we're from Tiny Talk telling you all about the sign when today. Now as I mentioned yesterday in our introduction to this session, the when sign doesn't actually get used at Tiny Talk. You might think, well you're covering all the other question signs, what's up with when? But if you think about our audience here, little babies and toddlers, when is a really diff difficult concept, isn't it? They don't really have any understanding of time as such, so it's not one of our core signs that we use. However, I didn't think we could really tell you about all the other aspects of Tiny Talk without touching on when is important. So let's just have a little chat about the timeline, really, of Tiny Talk. Um, it's been established for 20 years now, 2002. Um, our lovely managing director set our company up um, in Guildford when she realised that actually using your hands to communicate was the perfect tool for little people to use to express all of the interests and desires and curiosity that they have. Um, in the world around them and babies have got so much going on up here they literally don't have the tools to express it um, and that's the only thing stopping them from from communicating those needs so what we're doing by using our hands and our BSL signs is giving them the tools to communicate their needs um, so the first classes here in Kent were established about 10 years ago almost 10 years ago by me. Um, yes, I am that old. <laughs> I've been going for that long. Um, I first started teaching way back in 2012 and set up some classes where I used to live up near Blue Water. And um, at the time, I was literally doing like two classes a week because my own children were really small still. And as they grew, and actually as we relocated down this way, I kind of moved everything that I'd set up and, and did it in a, a different way here in Canterbury and the surrounding areas from here. So um, it's, it's kind of been a, a, a long progressive timeline really. Over those intervening years, um, we have had new teachers join our team in different areas. Um, we've had teachers join as mini teachers, we're calling them, so running their own sessions in, um, in areas around the county as well. And we've got to the point now where we've got classes on every day. So there's always something to suit you. If you've got a child who sleeps in the morning, um, but is really lively and, and up for entertaining in the afternoon, then we've got stuff to suit you. Um, if you've got a little one who's you know, a late riser and who's got loads of, loads of energy in the mornings, but snoozes all the way through lunch, then we've got a lot of morning sessions to suit you guys too. So hopefully wherever you are and whenever you're free, there'll be chance to come and play at Tiny talk. Um, we do have families that stay with us for a really long time as well. Lots of people joining with babies as newborns and staying all the way through the following years as children move into our baby classes and then graduate on into our toddler sessions as well. Um, I'm super fortunate because I have been around for a long time. I've seen lots of families come back to us as well when they've had an, a second child or even a third in some cases um, and recommending to family and friends and then relatives come. Um, I did even have one where a big sister went on to have her own child who she then brought to classes so we're almost on a kind of second generation tiny talk which is amazing um, so if you would like to come and join us you can find all of our class details and our timetable of when our classes run on our website tinytalk.co.uk tinytalk.co.uk you can tap your postcode in the little um, map on the front page there and find your nearest classes or you can come and find us at tiny talk kent downs on social media so facebook Facebook and Instagram and um, at the moment the timetable as I say there's something on every day in different places we do stick to term times only and that just makes it easier for those of you who have children over school age as well so you're not juggling too many things at once and um, for those of you who have children um, who want something to do in the holidays we quite often have um, summer specials as well as kind of seasonal sessions like Halloween Christmas party classes and um, there's lots going on and quite often we do find if a parent has had to go back to work at some point during the term um, usually parents are like I don't want to go can we shape our working hours around our tiny talk classes that's really common um, but if you do have to um, put classes on the back burner because you're going back to work then you're very welcome to come and join in in any of those holiday sessions there just to keep your hand in um, if that does apply to you you know if you are going back to work or if you can't get to one of our classes we have got some home learning materials as well which are really useful for just supplementing your learning at home or for kind of getting started if you can't get to a session and you'll find the details of those on our Facebook page as well 
Um, so as I said, the when sign isn't one that we do teach in class because little people don't really have that concept. Um, as children get uh, into our toddler sessions and approach kind of preschool age, you may find that they're starting to understand things like today, which we do use. In fact, we use that at the start of every class in our welcome song. Um, and then, you know, things like later and next and those kind of just real kind of gradual building up in terms of uh, uh, spatial awareness and times there. Um, but otherwise, all of our other question signs are, um, are used. And if you do have a child who's getting a bit bigger and who's starting to get curious, curious about kind of, well, when are we doing this? Um, I know it took my daughter quite a while to get her head around kind of when and the idea of there being a kind of flow to time. Um, but it's quite a handy sign as, as children get a bit bigger. Um, so check out all our details if you fancy coming and joining us um, as a parent and bringing your child or as we've mentioned already this week, if you fancy joining our team and being one of our teachers as well. So tomorrow we're wrapping things up with the why sign. That's a weird one, isn't it? Why? Come to Tiny Talk. Come along tomorrow and we'll tell you all about it. Thanks for being here. Bye bye.